Okay. These are the other things that we got from Ikea. These little containers. And these are good like when my husband wants to take lunch or something. And we got these multi-size too. The thing with us is that sometimes we let stuff stay too long in our containers and then we have to throw them away. But these came with all of these variation of little containers. So those were nice. And then here is the, we'll have to put these in the dishwasher. Here is the bigger white bowl. My husband likes to use this for like menudo or soup. Last time we got the serving bowl and we just thought we'd get the salad bowls. So we got two of these, one for him and one for me. And then I got these. So when I eat my acai bowl, this is a perfect size. And I always I only have two of them. So <laughs> I know we don't have a lot of dishes, which is kind of strange. I know. But that's what this is another one of the brown bowls. And then that other one is another one of these bigger ones. And so we'll have to put those in the dishwasher to wash. And then underneath here is the bench and I'll have my husband put it together. We like these paper towels because I don't know about you, but when we go to restaurants, we don't use their paper towels unless we're in the restaurant. But if we get to go food, we just use our own paper towels. And then here are the little faux plants and the little white pots. And I got two of those. And then I bought these and I'm about to take these into my room to show you what I'm gonna do with these. And I'm excited for him to get that bench together, but I have to be patient because sometimes I want things done so quickly. <laughs> and, I, and I'm sure I drive him crazy. But these are the frames that I bought as well and I bought four of them and so I just have some pictures that I want to put in them that I don't want to do like a different type of frame okay so one thing that I was kind of surprised at was that they didn't have very many Louis Vuittons in San Antonio like they had two one in the North Park Mall and one at La Cantera. And then the same for Ikea, like they only had one. So this is the drawer that I want to redo in terms of why I bought those Ikea inserts. And so I'm gonna go ahead and take all of this stuff out. I don't like that they move all the time, which is why I wanted to buy these. I didn't get to buy the little shelves for the bathroom because the bigger ones didn't fit. And so I'm gonna use these like to decorate the little shelves that I have in there and I'll do that next. So they didn't have these little shelves at all. They were like sold out. And then the next size up was too big for that bathroom. So let me get these open and then I'm gonna start transferring this stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum the drawer because it does have a little debris in here. And then of course, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with some window glass cleaner just to kind of prep the area. And then these come with the little corner felt so that it won't slip in the drawer. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I decided to keep my mirror there. Isn't that cute? Oh, and my Coke. <laughs> okay, I put these on. <laughs> and I think I might've put them in the wrong place. 
because I put them on the edges and I was noticing that when my husband did these, he put them inside. So I think it's okay. They still go in, just have a little gap there. But I think if I put, when I put them both in, it's fine. <laughs> this is what happens when you do stuff by yourself. But anyway, these two in the back are bigger. And so they're kind of hard to get to, as you can see. I know Ikea, it's, I wish that they would, and it's with everything. Like you can't get to the very back of some stuff. Even the drawers. I definitely want to take the items from here and put them there. And let me see how they're going to fit. So I could put them up like that and it still closes fine. It'd probably be even better if I hadn't put little heels on here. <laughs> but let me see what I'm working with. see yeah see how it fits better back here I don't like that though that I have to put it so far back but I guess it's okay and then put my little coin purse I'm gonna go ahead and put my coin purse back here too because I don't use those as much and then also my this wallet, I really don't use as much either. So I'm just gonna put those in the back. And then I have my little card cases, which I don't feel like I necessarily need to stack these. I think I could put them side by side, but if I wanted to stack them, I think I could do that too. Or maybe put them like that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and put them here. Now that I'm thinking about it, I did have these boxes in here. So maybe I'll allow some room for the boxes. Maybe in here. Yeah, I'm not sure how to work this out. Well, that worked out there like that. And then I had the this box, which I really didn't want to put these in the front. See, it doesn't close anyhow. <laughs> so I'm going to have to figure out another place for, for these two, which is fine. And actually, probably for the boxes too. I don't have to have the boxes there. So let me go back over here, put my card cases here. I think I'm going to go ahead and put these in their own little spot. Maybe just put these together that aren't necessarily... Look, that's already coming up on that. Because it was made. And I have my... I think I'm liking the look of this better than in this tray. I'm 
Okay, well, I was trying to put them. I think like that is fine. And that's about all I have in there aside from like this pin and my little coach tag, which I can probably put there. can't really see the pin I'm gonna put it up here I'll just put it maybe over here with this stuff all that's left here is just my little boxes and then this tree that I had bought but I think I like that better I definitely like the separation and they don't move as much now they're going to move a little bit but they don't move as much so yeah i like that and i'll find a place for all of these little boxes i really don't need them out anywhere this is more of like a jewelry box and i like the pop of pink and then this is empty too. This does have, this one does have my husband's ring that when we got married, we lost it for a while and then we found it and he had already bought another one, but I wanted to keep it for sentimental reasons. So I'm just gonna stick it in there. I guess I could just keep it up here. I have all this pink going on here, so I think it would be cute just to leave it there like that. So let me show you how I plan to put these in the little shelves in the bathroom. Okay, I just brought them over in this tray. So I wanted to put something here because I didn't have anything and you know in hindsight I don't even know if they have these in black so all I had up there was that R so I just want to add some little decor up here I did have perfume bottles here but I just didn't like them anymore and this is the wall that I wanted to buy the shelves for but they were too big for in here and then they didn't have the small ones. So we'll just make do with putting these little plants here. I think it'll give it at least some little decor. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get up here to put these others. But yeah, I thought they would look cute here. I think it's just better than not having anything here. And then with the white, <laughs> over there and just the white in general I think it would look cute so that is what those look like I don't know if I should put another one here maybe those just look okay on their own yeah I like it it looks cute maybe I can find a place for these somewhere else it's like that so that leaves me one let me see if i can find a home for it okay so this is the felt backing for the carpet not to slip it is a nightmare to take it apart <laughs> i was trying to take it apart and my husband had to help me but it's real sticky like it's a sticky fabric but it's huge i think this one will work for both carpets so he had a great idea to turn it over and then we're gonna cut it to size. Okay, so that's what it looks like. And now we're gonna turn it around. This stuff is really sticky. And I think we'll probably have enough to do the one in the front. Okay, so it's stuck, see, stuck, stuck, stuck. Perfect. And you can't see any of the edges either. My husband's idea was brilliant, brilliant. So that's how much we had left. 
and it sticks. Okay, so on this one, we didn't use as much. See, we didn't have it. So we had enough for two of these carpets. I can't remember the size of these, but I think if you cut, see, we still have some left here that we could probably use for the bathroom carpet so it won't slip. So if you're willing to cut it and, but it was a nightmare to try to take it apart. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Okay. So we were able to get this one really good too. See, it doesn't move at all. Like it would move quite a bit before. So I was able to do both of these carpets and we also put <laughs> a strip in this one, just a very little, let me see if I can get it here. See, just a very little strip there. So this one won't move as much either. And they don't, they're not budging at all. So I wouldn't put this on a carpet you will take up and wash often because they stick pretty good. So now I'm going to open this one. This one says it's a 6, 7.5 times 200 centimeters. I think I'm going to have to cut this one too because this carpet over here moves a lot. And so I think the width of this one, yeah, the width of this one will be perfect here. I'm just going to have to cut the length. You know what? <laughs> I just realized we already have, I was, we already have something on there. See? Perfect. I was wondering why it hadn't moved. Good. So, I don't think we need this at all for anywhere. I think we got them all done. So, this feels more manageable. I think also if we wanted to put this one here we could it would probably be just as long so we'll see how that works and if we have to switch it out we will because we'll have this one okay so here's the bench it is so cute i just die but it's pretty wide i would say and long and my husband put it together and he said it was just a matter of putting on the legs as you can see, the hardware there is all that you really had to put together. He said the rest of it was pretty intact. And so what I wanted to do when I thought about this was moving that bookshelf somewhere else and putting this here with the white picture frames. But I still have to see where I would put that before I would even think about doing that. I think this is too long for here. I don't think it would fit there. Let me try and see if it would fit there. Okay, so it fits right there. And then what I did was I put the, that chair over there. So I guess I could throw some pillows on it and kind of see how I feel about it <laughs> because right now I'm not sure that I like it there I think it's just because of all of the other stuff it's just the chair kind of hides that stuff but I don't know if maybe I put some pillows there but that is a little bench and like I said I say little but it really I guess is bigger than I thought Longer than I thought. Yeah, I like it. I do like it. Now, I could probably take that down and put the pictures there, the frames there, and just kind of make that an area. But I do have... So, I could put a basket there like that, and then maybe some pillows. Okay. Like that. What do y'all think? <laughs> and I just lifted the cover out of that just to kind of hide what's behind it but I do like it I think it looks cute and then I just added the little tray and I found a place for the other little plant so 
so yeah i think i like it i think i like it there and i think until i decide where i want to put those picture frames because my walls are full like completely full i have no room for anything else but i do do love this little bench and just to kind of bring it all together this here is made out of the same little wood grain so i think it helps make it all cohesive so that's the end of my video y'all thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next one bye